Hey guys, gonna make another video here for the new guys. It's missed some of the older footage and stuff that I've shared in the past. Uh, I'm, I'm taking some of the stuff that's like photographic snapshots and whatnot that's pretty significant to me, and I'm putting them into a video form where people can see this stuff. Um, this uh, tree right here had a game camera on it on December the 27th. We put it here because there was so much activity behind the playhouse at that time. Uh, the the date for the figure that was behind here, I said December 23rd the other day. It was actually December 24th, 9.43 p.m. when they was back here behind that uh, playhouse that night. That's the only time I've seen the, had evidence of the adults being back here. Uh, December 25th and 26th, the juveniles, as far as I know, were the only ones that was up here behind the playhouse. Uh, December 25th is... Uh, I had to think about what it was, but oh, that was the time that I, that's when I caught the eye shine over here and I caught the bipedal footsteps over here. It was actually December the 26th when I caught the shadow on the shed and I put that all in a compilation video, but that actually occurred over two nights. Footsteps were over here. The eye shine was over here that night. I come outside, didn't see anything. The next night, December 26th, I actually turned the camera on over here and saw him saw the the juvenile female standing beside that tree right there and i seen his eyes shine up here plain as day it was looking right at the camera when i kicked it on that's when i come outside and recorded the, the uh, shadow on the shed so now we got that all clarified up so a lot of activity behind the playhouse uh, those few days so put a game camera on this tree right here uh, and my buddy joe came down from uh where he lives at and uh we sit up here that night over here underneath the shed and waited for some activity but what we didn't realize was that right after dark somebody wanted something that already showed up i got two game camera uh uh photographs from the one on this tree that catches a humanoid figure approaching back here and leaving back here you're gonna see he's got a very broad back um uh, he's got you can see some facial features to it and it's kind of creepy looking uh, it's uh it doesn't have the cone shaped head it doesn't appear to be one of the jet black ones but i bring this up because uh carrie and i had a conversation on the phone i don't think it was on the bigfoot odyssey interview where he said something about where like their hair almost doesn't seem to reflect light and i said you know what i've got two game camera uh photographs that i've had people comment before it's almost like their hair absorbs the light that's how other people had to describe this so the people that follow on uh, the bigfoot forums they've seen these before back when they were first taken they were first discovered on the game camera but there's a lot of people on here that haven't seen those these are the only full body uh game camera photos that i have of something it looks like a Bigfoot, but then again, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know. Y'all just have to take a look at it. It's got some weird features to his face. It has no neck um, and uh, has a rounded top head, um, and it's coming and going. And I'll tell you right now, on my beloved children, there was nobody else here that, that evening because these photographs were taken at 7 p.m. shortly after dark. Uh, now... My buddy Joe showed up later on that evening, but I checked the text messages just to confirm what time he was arriving, and he arrived after these game camera photographs were taken. I was still inside the house waiting on him to show up. So by the time Joe showed up, this thing had already been in the backyard and left. And I verified by text messages because I got text messages from him shortly around 7 o'clock saying that he was in route to here. The timestamps on these photographs, I want to say they're like 6.53 p.m., something something like that. But because uh, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't, you know, somebody like maybe, you know, that was here that I didn't know. But uh, I think that uh, they came up that night because all that activity, 25th or 24th, 25th, 26th for sure. And then... Uh, Troy with the Native Bigfoot Research Organization and another buddy of his, they went out to the woods. We looked around. We found the handprint on the back of the house, took pictures of that that day, and uh, found a lot of evidence of their, uh, you know, of activity and their presence here. And uh, they left that day. 
And like I said, right after dark is a figure that approached up back here. So I'm just going to put the original game camera photographs unedited straight as they come off the game camera in the description. You will have to look in the game camera photographs because they're like, you know, they're, they're widescreen right over here. In this area, you're going to see him walking up over here. It's going to be in the far left-hand side of the photographs that you're going to see him coming. You're going to see him leaving. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think. Just throw it in the comments. Appreciate everybody's supportive comments about my my dad and uh, and my grandfather. And uh, I'm planning on printing all those comments out where y'all uh, thank him for his service and let him look through that uh, because, uh, you know, stuff like that sure does mean a lot to him. So, oh, it is raining. I'm going back inside. God bless.